Welcome back to another edition of the Film Room. Today, I am joined by starting safety of the Buffalo Bills, Jordan Poyer. Jordan, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing excellent, man. How you doing? Good, good. How's the offseason been, man? I, I mean, it's one of those things, you know, for us, for fans, it's it's a long offseason. But for you, I'm sure it's nice to kind of have some downtime and spend with the family, right? It's always good to have some downtime, but it, it definitely goes by fast. Uh, you know, we're, we're starting training camp next month, which is unbelievable. But, uh, you know, it's, it's good to be with the family. It's good to get away. But, uh, you know, definitely itching to get back on the football field. Now, do you train back home or do you have uh, do you go to a gym um, away from home to kind of get away and get back into the mindset? And yeah, my, my wife and I and my daughter, we live in uh, Florida. So I train at a spot called Bomberito out in Florida. You know, a lot of guys, <clears throat> a lot of guys are out there and uh, it's, it's good competition. It's good work. and uh, It gets me right for the season. Now, do you take, uh, you know, a couple of weeks off where you're still training every day, but maybe you're not watching as much film. But if you are watching film, like how often do you think you watch film during the week? Because, you know, me, I'm, I'm usually grinding every day watching film. So what yeah. about you in the off season? <laughs> you're always grinding watching film, man. I always, I always peep you on, the, on Twitter, <laughs> man. I always watching film. But no, you, you definitely got to take some time away. You know, it's a long season. Um, you know, you you got to gotta rest your body a little bit. But once it's time to get back into it, you know, you, you want to take about three, four weeks. Um, to kind of just wind down uh, from the season, and uh, and then you know once once you start training, you're back into it. You know, you're getting ready for the for the next season. No, that's that's true, man. You got to you know take some time away, and obviously your 2017 season couldn't have gone any better, Jordan. You had a heck of a year, a career year, obviously. Uh, you know, 76 solo tackles, 30 stops, uh, five interceptions, six pass deflections. You really filled uh, the box score week in and week out. So how surprised were you with it, not only your individual success, but your, your quick turnaround as far as the organization goes and making it to the playoffs? You know, I, I have a lot of high expectations on myself. So, you know, every, everybody else outside of, outside of me, really, um, you know, probably a little surprised of, you know, how, how I played. And, but, you know, I have expectations of myself, you know, week in and week out, day in, day out, you know, season in and season out. Um, so, and I wasn't surprised, you know, I knew I, I've i been a ball player my whole life and that's just what I kind of do. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, continuing that this, this next upcoming season. Now, what have you been working on? Because, again, you had a great year last year. What what are you working on uh, this offseason to kind of improve your game? You know, my, my role was a lot different um, this last season than I've kind of ever had. You know, I played a lot more snaps in the box and, um, you know, had to had to take on pulling guards, pulling tackles, and, <laughs> and, and, you know, so I, I definitely, I definitely, my focus was getting stronger um, and, and, you know, watching, watching a lot more film, um, just being able to see my keys a lot faster and being able to react a lot faster. Well, I'm sure, I mean, in your second year in this defense and, and I'm sure the coaching staff's going to add a few more wrinkles, a few more concepts to kind of build upon it. That's what's great about, uh, you know, the continuity in a, in a coaching staff from year to year, but, um, you're going to have, you know, some of the same role, but I'm sure they're going to add some new wrinkles, which should be exciting for you. No, it's always exciting to add some new stuff, um, you know, but you're right. Like the, the second year in this uh, in this defense, you know, we, we've been clicking all OTAs and we've been taking the ball away just like we were last year. And so, um, you know, with, with new guys coming in like Vontae and, 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 you know, having Trey and, and Micah, you know, it makes, makes things, you know, the communication easier, man. You got you got leaders like those guys, and, and you got guys up front like Kyle and Star, and uh, you know, and, and you got guys in the in the linebacker core like Matt Bellano and Tremont and, and Zoe. You know, this is it, it, those are guys that you want to play for and you want to play with, and so um, you know, it's it's going to be an exciting year. All right. With that said, we're going to jump right into it. We're going to jump into the film room. All right. So here's the game situation. The score is tied. It's ten to ten. We're just coming out of halftime. There's 12:41 in the third quarter, third down and three on the 35-yard line. And the Cincinnati Bengals bring out two running backs and split them out in the, in the backfield and eventually motion Gio Bernard out wide. So based on that motion, you guys are going to see that the defense kind of just bumps out. It doesn't appear to be man coverage. So where we want to go from here is let's take a look, Jordan, at Sharice Wright because he obviously was in the game here. and. To me, kind of looks like he may be a little lost here. He's looking to you for some type of communication in regards to what he's supposed to be doing. Can you kind of explain what happened here? Yeah, so they come out. They come out. It uh, looks like twenty personnel on uh, third and three. 
And uh, it looks like we're coming out with some pressure, um, obviously, because you see double A gaps and, and you see the, the zone coverage behind it, you know, double du looks like pressure with some zone coverage behind it. But, um, you know, Sharice Wright got put in a, in a fire situation because a couple of our nickels got hurt. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> he's, he's he's looking at me, asking me what his responsibility was. And honestly, um, I, I was confused when he looked at me because I thought he knew. But he sure. asked me, he's basically asked me, you know, am I blitzing, which he is supposed to be blitzing in this play right here. Because um, if you if you play the play, you know, we got three droppers um, and then we're playing uh, Palms coverage behind it, which is basically a, a two to one read. Um, for the safeties, um, you know, two breaks out, the corner's going to jump it, and, and the the safety got to get over one. But you see, you see AJ in the slot, so you kind of you know, pre snap, you kind of already know where the ball is going. Um, sure. And I, I think he was playing the safe side of it and and not blitzing because he, I think he understood that too. I definitely think uh, it might it might have confused the quarterback the fact that he didn't blitz, and so you know, but it, I'll take it because you know tips and overthrows that's what they that's what you get paid for no doubt about it and yeah it, it's it does appear that Sharice Wright is a little confused and you kind of give him with both your hands you kind of give him like you're going but he yeah. obviously missed it because when you play the when you let the play roll here um it looks like they're you know they're having one guy go across the middle uh Erickson's going to be coming across the middle it looks like AJ Green just going to run down the seam he kind of slows in the window to help Dalton out on this play. And as you had mentioned, you guys are playing palms coverage with the two droppers here. The green arrows are the two defensive tackles, Adolphus Washington and Kyle Williams dropping underneath uh, what they call like a wall technique, right, Jordan? Yeah, it's a wall technique. And so they, they can't let anything cross their face. And if um, really Kyle, Kyle should be working um, to, to his right because he, he doesn't have any threat. Um, sure. He doesn't have any threat to the flat this way, or, or he doesn't have any number to exactly right there. Yeah. He doesn't have any threat. Mm -hmm. uh, number two threat and so um the, the coverage was kind of a bust um you know me me personally i i probably should be uh you know with knowing sharice was blitzing i would i would have what they call pop the top over number two just so that he doesn't i mean you you go pre-snap he just looks naked and it's aj green so that's where the ball is going to go right now um and so um called pop the top so i show over number two just at, just to give the quarterback a, a muddy look to not let him think that you know aj green is going to be open right now and that's the thing we're going to talk about with these double A-gap looks. That ball's going to come out quickly. So, I mean, and maybe you could have been a little lower in the hole there to deter that throw. But exactly. let's talk about your eyes. Let's talk about the palms coverage mm -hmm. here uh, between you and the corner. Um, you kind of briefly touched upon it. So where are your eyes on this number two? Kind of break it down for me, would you? Yeah, so my read is a two-to-one. Um, basically, once, once two goes vertical, it turns into quarters coverage. Um, and, and so, you know, playing with vertical separation on number two, um, two break, two breaks in, you know, I can be, I can be aggressive on the, on number one, if two breaks out, you know, I obviously got to get over the top of number one for the whole shot, but you know, everything, everything's on a throw. So the corner's not going to just leave me out to dry. And as soon as two goes out, you know, jump it right away. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to kind of, you know, give a muddy look and, and break on the throw, um, so that I have time to get over the top of number one. Okay, so now hypothetically, if two were to run out here and one were to go deep, then what's your assignment? Yeah, so I, I got to get get over the top of one. The corner's going to milk it a little bit, and, and he's going to obviously read it. He's got his own eyes right now, and so he's kind of reading the quarterback. He's re he's also on a two-to-one read, so as soon as two, two breaks out, he's going to settle his feet a little bit, knowing that I'm going to get over the top of number one. Um, yeah, that's exactly the drawing right there. That's it. Uh, okay. And so, uh, but you know, it's, it's, it's all, it's all vision based too. So we, we don't play, you know, we, we try not to cut the field in half. And that's how we make plays on the football. Yeah, definitely. You guys made a lot of plays on the football, especially in the secondary last year. So that's, that's good to know that, you know, um, cause some systems, um, it becomes man to man and, you know, stuff like that. It's more vision based. And I know that's yeah. something Lorenzo had mentioned to me, uh, last off season when we started breaking down some films. So, um, again, if one were to, uh, you know, go vertical and two would go to the flats here to the to the field side. That means the corner would jump the out route and then Jordan yep. Poyer would replace over the top to help uh, uh, help deep. So um, it's it's yep. one of those things, too. Like, obviously, your eyes have to be in the right place. Right, Jordan. And you have yeah, to always. react quickly. Always. So we're going to go ahead and get to the tight camera angle because you see Jordan pick it off here. Uh, and I want to kind of <laughs> talk about your uh, your mindset as a defensive back. Again, we mentioned this double a gap look. And what's your mindset as a defensive back 
uh, when you see these double A gap looks, or even if they are definitely bringing both of those linebackers? You know, it's it's third and three, so initially I already know. Um, as soon as I get the play call, I know the ball is going to come out quick, just because. Um, we're bringing pressure. Um, I mean, we're at least supposed to be bringing pressure. And sure. So I know the ball's going to come out quick. I know the quarterback's thinking the ball's going to come out quick. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I, you know, you just got to understand the sticks, understand the situation. And, um, you know, right here, obviously, Sharice was supposed to be blitzing. Um, he's thinking he's the wall player right here. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, it, it, it helped me out. That's because <laughs> <laughs> AJ Green, AJ Green saw him and he, he might have got a little. A lot of, got a little nervous when he uh, was trying to catch the ball. And you can tell uh, just from everyone's kind of drops and their landmarks, it just, and when I saw this play initially, I'm like, man, Sharice doesn't look like he is in position for anything. I know adult, you know, Adolphus Washington struggles to kind of get a piece of Eric's in there, but mm-hmm. I mean, you got to expect that when you got your defensive tackle, your three tech right there, trying to get depth and get around, you know, try Definitely. to get a piece of the shifty wide receiver slot receiver. So, um, but seeing Sharice right, I was like, man, he's out of position, but Again, I ask you if if he's if he doesn't um, drop like this. I mean, there's a good chance that maybe AJ Green does catch us because it kind of looks like yeah. alligator arms. This right? Yeah, and and I mean, Adolphus Adolphus is, I think, a little wrong here too. I think he can work to the next window, knowing he has a just knowing that. I mean, that's just you know de- defensive lineman dropping. Yeah, know? don't uh, chase him. Basically, <laughs> get get into the passing lane, right? Yeah, yeah. So he he knows he got another wall player uh, on the other side. Just knowing the formation, that's defense back stuff. You know, I I couldn't go in there, probably run no twists or anything like that. You know, <laughs> yeah, right. No <laughs> so I under, I understand that part, but uh, but no, I I definitely think you know the the, the bus helps. You know, get the get the reception. And that's what this double A gap, uh, you know, look does because you'll see them uh, motion that second running back. Uh, Jeremy Hill right into the A gap, and you see the linebacker switch there because they have to account for everyone, right, Jordan? They, so they have to. They have, they have to. to, even if they don't come, which they all of them don't blitz, but they have to have everyone accounted for. And it's good thing that they did bring uh, Hill up because Milano's the one that blitzes here and Preston drops. So it was actually really good protection, but the threat of that double A gap pressure forces that offense to get rid of it quickly, exactly. forces the defense into a really nice play and interception for you uh, last season. Well, that wraps up this film session with Jordan Poyer, the starting safety of the Buffalo Bills. So, Jordan, tell us where we can find you on social media. Man, you can find me on Twitter, J underscore Poyer 21. Same on Instagram, J underscore Poyer 21. And uh, show some love, man. What other events you got going on before the season starts? I know you guys are very active in the community. Uh, What type of events you got going on in the next few weeks? First and foremost, I got to congratulate my brother, Micah Hyde. He's getting married out in San Diego, so I'll be attending that event. Um, a week after that event, I have uh, my Jordan Porter football camp out in uh, my hometown, Astoria, Oregon. And then I'll be going to Portland the same day to do a, a high school seven on seven tournament. So it should be a fun off season. Awesome. And we'll have all those links in the description um, so that you can go ahead and uh, you know click through and find Jordan on all the social media and all of his events. So Jordan, again, thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate it and hope to do this again in the future. For sure, man. Take it easy. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Appreciate it.